Hey, did you hear the news? Donald Trump has now been found guilty on all 34 charges. Okay. He is now a convicted felon. So what is interesting about this is he may not be able to vote in November, but he'll still be able to win the election. What a stupid system. (laughs) So I'm going to go over some of these details, including the sentencing date, which is coming pretty soon as well as some reaction from media and reaction from Trump himself after leaving the courtroom. So, headline here from CNN. Jurors find Trump falsified business records in New York hush money trial. He became, becomes the first former U.S. president to be, his hair is really distracting here, (laughs) become the first former U.S. president to be convicted in criminal court. Look at that ugly mug. Now, Some key details here. His legal team is likely to appeal the verdict, a process that is unlikely to conclude before November. And if he wins in November, well, you can say goodbye to this case. He was charged, as I said, with 34 felony counts in the uh, connection to the uh, hush money payment to Stormy Daniels. The jury took just two days. And as I said, it's not clear whether Trump will be able to vote in November, but he may still <laughs> he may still win the election. So stupid. This also may be, I think they're right here, this is uh, increasingly looking like the only trial that will wrap up before the November election. So this may be the only time we hear Trump is guilty, at least before November. And then after that, if he wins the election, I think we're unlikely to hear it again. Now, just some details to perform move on from Rolling Stone. Over the course of six tension-packed weeks, prosecutors used documents, texts, emails, voice recordings, and witness testimony to depict Trump and his inner circle's mindset and actions leading up to and following the effort to silence Daniels ahead of the 2016 presidential election. Alvin Bragg's team argued that Trump's directives, namely to his former longtime fixer Michael Cohen, who went to jail for this, he went to jail years ago. Uh, Not sure why it took so long to go after Trump, but the prosecution star witness in the case pertained to the hush money payment were intended to influence the election and defraud American voters, and that the 2017 payment to reimburse Cohen was disguised in order to cover up a crime. Now, Trump will be sentenced on July 11th at 10 a.m. Eastern. Four days later, the Republican National Convention begins. They are going to, as you'll see from Trump's reaction in a minute here, they're going to just paint this as, oh, once again, I'm the victim. I can't believe they went after Trump. Oh, tr- poor Donald Trump. Why, why is Trump so, why is everyone going after him? He's just a massive criminal. I wonder why all these people are coming after him for all his millions of crimes. So the penalties he could face... Again, a lot of this is just, you know, assuming the appeal doesn't go through and that Trump doesn't win the election. He could face jail time. So each of the 34 counts carries the possibility of up to four years. I just find it hard to believe a guy who's gotten away with everything his entire life is going to end up behind bars, but... We can hope. Here is Trump's reaction following uh, the result. Administration, in order to administration, in order to wound or hurt an opponent, a political opponent, and I think it's just a disgrace. And we'll keep fighting. We'll fight till the end, and we'll win because our country's gone to hell. We don't have the same country anymore. We have a divided mess. We're a nation in decline, serious decline. Millions and millions of people pouring into our country right now from prisons and from mental institutions. Ter- Does he realize he's a criminal? <laughs> he's a criminal and he's worried about people coming in from prisons. 
They should be worried about you, a man who should be behind bars. Terrorists, and they're taking over our country. We have a country that's in big trouble. But this was a rigged decision right from day one with a conflicted judge who should have never been allowed to try this case, never. And we will fight okay. for our Constitution. This okay. is long from over. Thank you very much. So boring. So boring. Saying the same thing he's always said for months, for years. Just, everyone's against me. Oh, woe is me. I, I'm, I'm the poorest man in America. Fuck off. Hannah here. Great tweet. You can't falsi falsify multiple business documents anymore due to woke. <laughs> they just, you can't do it anymore. Woke's coming after everything. Here's uh, some reaction to the verdict from around the table. We are looking at count one table. guilty. Uh, count two guilty. Count three guilty. Uh, count four guilty. Count five guilty. Those are the first five counts coming out of this. Okay, and this goes on for 34 counts. 22. Uh, those are the first 28 felony counts here. Count 33 and 34 guilty. Uh, that is Donald J. Trump, defendant in New York versus Donald Trump, uh, found guilty on all 34 felony counts. Uh, that is the verdict here in this case. Rachel. Listen, it's a unanimous jury verdict, unanimous on all counts. This is a definitive and, um, uh, you know, this is an irreducible verdict. Um, he can appeal. I'm sure he will appeal. But this is everything that the prosecution asked for um, from a jury that, by all accounts, took this thing very, very seriously. Um, we, we counted the deliberation hours down here. Mm -hmm. um, You're allowed to smile. Why is there an alarm going off? You're allowed to smile. <laughs> I know, you know. They're in media. They don't want to... They don't want to pick sides here, I guess. <laughs> it's very clear that they do not like Trump for obvious reasons. But uh, very, very serious at MSNBC. Here's a CNN's Jake Tapper. Guilty. Wow. Donald Trump found guilty on all 34 counts of falsifying business records in the first degree. All 34 are felonies. They, Donald Trump has now been convicted of 34 different felony crimes by a jury of his peers in Manhattan. 34 felony charges for former president, President Donald J. Trump, convicted of 34 felony charges having to do with falsifying business records to cover up hush money payments to Stormy Daniels. Uh, an unbelievable moment in American history. Uh, they, the jurors are now being asked uh, about their agreement with these charges and they are responding yes trump has a frowned expression on his face as the verdict reading is completed he is not moving the for the former president of the united states now a convicted felon having been found guilty of 34 felony charges by a jury of his peers in manhattan new york i wonder how many counsel was all right uh <laughs> Here's the Fox News reaction. As we are now getting the information uh, from the jury, we're up to 18 counts, 19 guilty. Remember, we have 34 here. I don't have the answer the, to that question. I want to believe that Americans believe in justice. And I think that in their gut, uh, they realize that there is something that is very wrong here. We have gone over a cliff in America. This verdict is a verdict of someone who was forced to fight a 1,000 pound gorilla with both hands tied behind his back. How can anybody possibly argue that Trump was forced to fight this with hands tied behind his back. This is Donald Trump. He had a legal team. Many people don't even get to choose their own lawyer. What are you talking about? Anybody else that would have faced these kinds of charges would have been in jail a long time ago. Michael Cohen, his lawyer, went to prison. Years ago. For this. Over this. Like... <laughs> it's just so you know it's fox news obviously I'm not surprised but it, it's just it's so stupid it's so stupid like there's no they have no defense because if they had a defense they would try to make one 
But th- this is the shit <laughs> that they have to put out there is pretending Donald Trump had no advantages. Insane. This was a defendant for whom crimes were created, against whom a judge was picked um, uh, that out of the ordinary, not from not from the drum, but a judge who was handpicked to, for this defendant, who denied him the ability to fight the way he needed to fight, who brought in crimes that we've never heard of in New York before, <laughs> where uh, they don't have the answer. <laughs> no one's heard of these crimes before. Yeah, it's not like his lawyer went to prison over this. Get the fuck out of here. So that's it. That that's all the thing. All the all the tabs I have for today. This is just, it's great. It's great. I don't want to undercut how great it is to see this piece of shit faced with all these guilty counts. He is now a, a felon. Donald Trump is a felon. Yet still. He can become president, even if he might not be able to vote for himself.